again, you know, I wanted to come back on and say this. You know, my last video was about an interaction I had with uh, an acquaintance, a young man I am familiar with um, in one of the villages where I'm going to be building. And um, I love the fact that we are learning each other, right? So we as diasporan coming here to Ghana and or anywhere in Africa, we are learning to adapt to certain practices. And we want to be able to adapt to practices that are healthy. When I say healthy, meaning respectful and keeping the peace between all of us and not look at a you, not have a you versus them type dynamic. And I think we owe it to ourselves, really and truly, to just be mindful of how we go about doing, saying certain things, know certain catchphrases that we have to use in order to be able to adjust to Ghanaians and them being able to adjust to us. And so we want to be able to share in this dynamic, this beautiful world that we're in, share understand each other, learn, oh my goodness, learning the language, that's going to take some time. <laughs> it's a small, it's a practice. It's going to take a minute. It's so, for me, I can't speak about anybody else. For me, it's so hard to soak it in. It's almost like my memory is blocked. Like I hear the words and I love repeating the words because, and I can repeat a word, no problem. But for it to soak into the brain, ah, my goodness, it takes a minute. Yeah, I was walking. So it takes a minute to even conceptualize the idea of speaking a language that you have never heard before. And you're trying to understand so you can manage. I mean, I guess eventually we'll get it. So it's a work in progress. Look like to say this. It's a work in progress. And so we need to just be mindful of that, that we have to learn some things, being able to have at least a small conversation with someone and feel good about knowing that what we're saying is actually the correct word. So it's, it's, it's work in progress. And so, like I said, I will continue to do these videos. I think it's important, as I said before, it's so important for us to learn more about each other because we don't know each other. We're the same color. Yeah, and we don't know each other and we can always blame. We can always put blame about every little thing. But at the same token, why blame? Let's just push past the blame and look at how we can make this experience one of the best experience there are there is we could do so much together so anyway this is just another uh, piece of my perspective on living here in ghana and by the way i love it <laughs> there's a lot of things i don't like but who cares i love being here and i don't mind being here it's a beautiful place greenery essence of natural the naturalness you know we're used to everything being pretty this that and the other but there's an essence about Ghana that has a natural beauty to it that makes you just say okay it's all right it's okay we're doing good anyway until next time guys take care